and welcome if you're new. If this is your first time here, this is a series that I do daily, just explaining what God has done in my life and what he continues to do and kind of like what he teaches me every day. I feel like we just kind of go through life, we get so busy, and we never sit down and think or really reflect on the fact that like, God has done so much for us. He is changing and transforming our minds every single day. And I feel like I just wanted to document it. I just wanted to go on this journey and document it, um, not only for myself, but to be able to share it with you and to share and let you know that, yeah, like we change all the time and that's okay. And God is always working and he's always doing amazing things. So I will be sharing things that happened to me or just things I've learned, um, kind of a little bit of both. So as our first day of our new year commences, I'm never sad to see the last year go. I'm never sad to say, oh, it's a new year and new beginnings. Like who doesn't like to start a new beginning? I don't know. I have always felt comfortable with that. So I'm actually excited for 2019. I feel like I learned a whole bunch in 2018 and we just wanna keep the train going, I guess. So this is just my informal vlog style way of documenting every day what I feel like God has done for me and what he's teaching me. Honestly, I was super scared. I've tried to start this a bunch of different times, y'all. And literally like the enemy just attacks me. It's awful. Like legit terrible so i'm not giving up this time i'm i'm going for it i'm trying the interesting thing is i'm actually starting a women's group at my church and uh that's a little bit scary a lot of bit scary and because i'm getting like super good uh feedback from it people are like yeah i'm coming and this and that and i've been doubting myself i've been feeling just ridiculously unqualified and how terrible is that the funny thing that happened to me was i was talking to my husband about this of course and he just kind of dropped these bombs and i swear like it came from the holy spirit it was jesus telling me hey hey like no 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 like i need to let you know some things <laughs> and it sounds really really dumb but he just kind of imparted some knowledge to me and so we were sitting there talking and he goes and I was like I can't do this like why me like why did I felt like God wants me to do this but why me like there's so many other people who could do this and probably do it better and ah uh, like I can't do this like and I'm really worried about the teaching aspect of it and I'm like oh what am I gonna do and he's like, he just looks at me and he's like, why not you? Like so often we ask ourselves, why me? Like, why is this happening to me? Why am I, what do I have to do this? Or, you know, why did this circumstance happen? And we never sit there and ask like, why not me? Like if I'm getting grace and blessed and all this stuff, like I'm not saying a word, right? The minute I wanna do something that I don't wanna do, I'm like, why me why me the funny thing was that this was in a book that I had read years and years ago that I literally I buy this book and I give it away I buy a book and I give it away and the book is called the traveler's gift and oh my gosh the first thing in the book is when you ask this question why me the response is why not you the other thing my husband told me was he said I don't think there's anyone else who could have done this because I was like there has to be somebody else who can do this. Like, I'm not that good, I don't know, like what if it all fails and I'm too super afraid of like failure, super afraid of success too, like I'm just a mess y'all. But, well interestingly enough, my husband comes to me in this conversation and says, I don't think there's anyone else who could do this. And I'm looking at him like, you've got to be kidding me, I don't, no, there's tons of other qualified people. And he's like, God told you to do this because you can bring people together. Because he wants you to do this. He wants to use you. He knows that you're worthy. And he's like, no. If you look at it 
in the perspective of his perspective and not Lacey's perspective that has blinders on, you are legit the only person who could do this. And that was just life changing for me. It was like, why do we look at things in our own perspective, our own terrible perspective where like we have huge blinders and can't see? Why don't we look at things how God looks at things? He looks at us like we are such treasures and he loves us this much. Like he would never lead us into a path that would take us on a bad journey. Like he wants us to go on this journey and part of that was just me not trusting him. So those were kind of my epiphanies, like my light bulbs of like, okay, all right, I got you. I'm gonna do this, it's okay. And I feel like starting out in the beginning of the year, a lot of times we have self-doubt. We might have a lot of confidence in ourselves, but we do have self-doubt and we put ourselves down and think that we are not good enough to do something or will never accomplish it or why even try. And it's interesting, we do have to look at it in his perspective and in his in his perspective, he's saying, I gave this to you for a reason. You're supposed to go down this path. You're supposed to go down this journey. I know what's best for you. And I know where you'll end up. Just trust me and walk down the path. And as long as we're looking at things through his perspective and how much he loves us and how worthy we are, then you would never look at yourself and think that you couldn't do something or think that you were unqualified to do something. So that's what I'm doing. That's kind of the, the knowledge that he told me today, that he imparted to me today. And it was through my husband, through this conversation. And it was definitely the spirit talking, telling me like, you can do this, you've got this. You know, I made you brave, like you have this. So I will keep you guys posted on what happens, but I just thought it was really cool at the beginning of the year for the first thing that he's telling me is to basically trust him and to trust that he has given me enough wisdom and knowledge to take at least one more step. I hope that, I hope that somewhere in the universe that helped somebody. And I hope that in your own personal life, you can look around and reflect on the day and say, you know, what did God do for me today? What did he teach me today? What did he let me see that I didn't know before? How did he open my eyes or, um, you know, break the scales away? Or He's doing so much and we're not giving him anywhere near the credit he deserves or um, just credit in general. So this is my way of documenting my journey and I'm so glad that y'all are here and that you came. And even if the enemy comes, like I'm ready because if God is for it, then nothing can stand against us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I will see you guys again. Bye for now.